Stanford University. So the real reason why the West rules is simply geography. So um, let me explain that with an example of what I'm talking about. If you look at Western Europe 5,000 years ago, Western Europe labored under a lot of geographical disadvantages. It was stuck out into the cold waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it was a long way from the centers where the real action was, down in Southwest Asia, what we now call the Middle East. And there in what we now I think of as Iraq, Syria, Jordan, Israel, great cities had developed, um, fed by irrigation off the rivers like the Euphrates and Tigris. Agriculture had progressed very far. There were temples and divine kings trading with each other. Out in Western Europe, over a thousand miles away, none of these things were going on. It was just too far away. Now, if you fast forward from 5,000 years ago to 500 years ago, everything has changed. These geographical disadvantages for Western Europe have now become huge geographical advantages. People have developed ships that can sail across the oceans. People have invented guns that you can use to shoot people when you get to the other side. Sticking out into the Atlantic Ocean now becomes a great plus for the West Europeans because they're simply much closer to the New World than anybody else. They're able to sail off to the Americas, colonize the Americas, plunder its riches, create a new kind of economy around the shores of the North Atlantic Ocean, provide the incentives that drive the scientific revolution, the enlightenment, the industrial revolution. People in other parts of the world were perfectly capable of doing all of these things, but it was harder for them. They were further away from the new world. It took them longer and it was more difficult for them to discover and colonize these places. Now, if you fast forward again from 500 years ago to now, once again, social development has changed the meanings of geography. We now have nuclear and oil-powered ships that can sail wherever they want. We have jet planes that can fly around the world. We have communication satellites that put us in touch with people almost instantly anywhere in the world. All of the things that 500 years ago were a huge plus for the West Europeans no longer really matter all that much. As social development rises, the meaning of geography changes with it. And history is really a kind of back and forth between physical geography and the development of societies that geography itself drives. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.